right? So in this video, um, we're gonna go over how to um, click on each item and be able to show uh, the detail of the item in a detail page. So yeah, to click on the recycler view, um, uh, on each item, we need to create an interface. So we'll do that first. I was doing the UI. Yeah, we're doing the UI package. Um, choose interface and post click handler, I guess you could say. Uh, yeah. And then, so you won't actually implement any code here. <laughs> you just write the stub, basically, and but you use it to force implementation, basically. Um, on the class, uh, so we'll do find uh, click post item. We can pass. We can pass the position um, or the actual object. I'm just gonna pass the actual object. So post here. Yeah. Okay, and then um, so we we need to implement that on the post fragment. So uh, do that in Kotlin. You just do comma after fragment so this isn't a fragment uh, but an activity would be the same thing comma um, but post click handler then you'll get this uh, error because you need to implement the um, the method and so you can click this or you can use the all enter option enter um, shortcut but. and then you'll choose whatever methods if you have multiple click OK and so whenever we click an item on the recycle view, um, it will hit this method and pass the post. Well, that's what we want it to do. <laughs> so um, we need to pass the click handler to our adapter. So you just write this in the post recycle view adapter um, instantiation. So it's giving an error because um, we need to add the click handler as one of the parameters in the primary constructor um, a post recycler view adapter so they actually have it where if you just mouse over um, they can do it for you <laughs> so I'm not I usually never do this um, yeah I'll just do it manually because sometimes it does weird stuff okay so we'll go to the adapter and private val uh, and click handler. Oh, we can just click handler. That's fine. Yeah. And then, so on our um, on our view holder, we want to implement a click listener. So um, it review the on click listener, which is gonna make me import that so and then we need to also implement this so that's the same thing as we did before so so whenever we click on something we want whenever we, we so we want whenever we click on something um, make it hit this so um, yeah so we're right in it and yeah, we'll just do it on the whole view. So binding dot root dot set on click listener. Um, yeah, and then we'll just pass this. So anything that get clicked <laughs> on each uh, list item in the list, um, we'll call the on click function. And we need to get the current uh, value. Um, or the current position, so uh, so we'll just do position equals uh, get binding, I believe, uh, or binding that that position, um, and then current item. So we'll do current uh, post, and really we can just do um, m. What is it? We have item or values. We should probably change that to post, but uh, values um, position. We could just really do bonding adaptive position. Just get rid of this. 
and then um, we'll do click handler dot clicked and then we'll current post and so this will actually whenever we click we're getting the current post and then we're passing it to current post I mean to the <laughs> to the interface that we implemented and so it'll pass it to the post fragment so just to test that out real quick um, yeah we'll just post or we'll just log the title so um, so post that or post that title and we don't have a tag I guess we don't okay so All right, and then I'll run this. Uh, I'll pause it real quick and run it. Um, yeah. All right, so the app is running now, and whenever we click um, one of the items, we should see the item that we clicked in the log cat, so, or the content, so the, yeah. So, um, yeah, so right here. Oh, we clicked the actual, well, I'm printing out the title, so let's print the content. So that's what we're showing. Oh. All right, uh, and then is it body? Oh, it's body. Okay, I think. Oh, yeah, that's what the view. Uh, that's the view's name. Okay, so I'll just rerun this real quick. Um, yeah, and so when we click it, we'll see the. Um, We'll see the actual uh, content that's right here, right here. Click position, post that body. So now we want to make it go to a new screen, which we don't even have one yet. So we'll just go to the nav graph uh, that we created in the previous videos or a video. Uh, and then we we'll just click this plus button. Let's create a new destination, uh, a blank fragment. Yeah, that'll work. Um, and we'll name it post detail. Oh, I'll delete. Oh, well. Fragment. Okay. Finish. Yes, yeah, acting up. Okay. And so we'll drag this new one to the right of that. So, um, yeah, so we'll grab the uh, dot right here and just drag it to the new one and that's so you can pass an item and we'll just pass the title for now um, yeah we have to do some extra stuff too it's not that bad though to pass the whole object but we'll just pass like a title just to make it real quick um, and so yeah we'll add um, so if you click uh, arguments, uh, you click the new fragment, click arguments, and we'll just do title. And we'll do string. And empty. I don't think that matters. Um, yeah, I'll just leave it empty. Just so it's not null. Yeah. Um, okay, and then we'll go back to our regular fragment our first fragment which is post fragment so here we want to um so oh, i have a quick thing to make it <laughs> so um so we're first creating a bundle of the set of test id of the title and then this will be the um uh, post that title we should do body because that's something we know that's there so we have to import bundle of um, and also find nav controller and um, yeah make sure it's from the navigation package which this one is too but yeah okay from the fragment yeah okay so make sure you choose the fragment one this is the ID of the new um, the new fragments layout, so it'll be probably post detail, I guess. Yeah. 
All right. And then we need to open the error somewhere. Do you have the importer? Okay. Oh, yeah, I guess it was complaining. Usually it has the whole thing. What did it import? Okay, yeah, we imported the wrong thing. Okay, so make sure it's a uh, navigation fragment file now controller. Okay. Um, all right, and then the next thing is go to the new detail fragment, which we should probably find need to charge my computer 8%. Okay, so next um, we'll go to the detail fragment and then just to make it real quick. Um, <laughs> all right, and then we just need to change, we'll just change this real quick, the title. And um, our, just the title. We'll just need to change that everywhere. Okay. Yeah, we'll just leave it right there real quick. <laughs> just so, um, just to make this uh, real quick. Okay, and then we'll just print this out, so. Um, not print, <laughs> log D. Um, Param one, which this will actually be the title. We need to add a tag, so log T, create it for you. All right, and then we'll just run this real quick before my computer dies. When we click the item, we should see the content Oh uh, no, we'll see it in Logcat. We're at we're not actually showing anything, but um you just see the an on crate, so this is post detail fragment. We click the first one, so we'll just show it again. Uh, switch. That's something we need to handle. Should I have a video about but I'll redo it in the next video, but and so I clicked the second one on the scene, but um <laughs> So it passed the body to post detail fragment. So yeah, that's how you um, handle clicking the item in the recycle view and then showing it on a new and passing the data to a new page.